Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to help you resolve the hypervisor blue screen error you are receiving on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So the Hyper-V feature in Windows allows users to create and manage virtual machines. So this is an integral part of Windows 10 and Windows 11 professional and higher editions. So if you're coming across this error message, we really know exactly where to look for the solution. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So one thing I do want to point out before we really get into the meat and potatoes of this tutorial is that specifically based on your BIOS settings, there may be an option to enable or disable virtualization technology. I'd recommend looking into your specific computer's make and model and see if there are BIOS settings that pertain to this. So again, virtualization technology or something derivative of that, and you want to make sure that is enabled on the BIOS level, UEFI level, you know, depending on you know, what your system is. If you're running on supported hardware or not, that could make a little bit of a difference, so just keep that in mind, depending on how you upgraded it to Windows 11, of course. But anyway, now that we've kind of moved on from that, that's something we're not going to show directly in this tutorial. That's something you'd have to kind of figure out on your end because there's so many different possibilities of how to show that for different computer manufacturers. So with that out of the way, first thing you want to do is open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, chicken back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it and then go up the top bar of the command line window here, right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Once it says the operation completed successfully, go ahead and close out of here. And you should be able to just go ahead and restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.